I didn't catch your name. Dream Eaters. That's a weird name. Not me. Them. Right. I knew that. Don't let them surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neku. Huh? Neku Sakuraba, you asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. These things with you, they're Dream Eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. I guess. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness, but some never returned completely. They still sleep, cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The Dream Eaters will guide you, just as the Heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freeze. Yeah, yeah, fine. Ha. Yeah, yeah. Hey, ha, yeah. I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Neku? Oh, no way! Hey, that wasn't the deal. You said you wouldn't hurt him. Don't, Neku! They're too dangerous! What? Why am I so... Am I in... Traverse Town? My clothes have changed. Sora! Where are you? I remember we fell overboard after Ursula attacked, and then I think we opened a keyhole. So, this must be one of the sleeping worlds. My keyblade. It just sort of popped into my hand when I needed it most. Right. It started. 
Wow. Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? My name is Joshua. What do you mean, portal? Are we just skipping past the part where you tell me your name? Riku. <laughs> Hello there, Riku. Portals are like gateways that link up our worlds. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now, well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split in half. Portals are what let folks like us cross between them. There can be two of a world? The world is as many things as people need it to be. The concept that we all live in the same world, that's just in our heads. Surely you knew. I'll tell you what, Riku. I've got a little errand for you. Sorry. I don't trust you. Aw, <laughs> uh, at least hear me out. I'm looking for a girl named Rhyme. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side, who knows who we'll find? Maybe even your friend, Sora. Uh, you know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. But, unfortunately, I don't know where he is. If he's not in this version of the world, I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Simple logic. Okay. You want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. Joshua, why don't they ever attack you? They being dream eaters? They won't go after you unless you're a dreamer. Which is funny because I've got plenty of dreams. But they're definitely attacking me. So, you think I'm a dreamer? Every human being is a dreamer. I had a friend once who said he never dreamed of anything. But it turned out that his were the most powerful dreams of all. You sort of remind me of him. Why don't we give your dreams shape? In this world, they take form as dream eaters, 
which can become great allies. I got you huh? now, Joshua! Hmm? Once I take you down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belong. Beat. How many times do we have to go over this? You've been tricked by that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? But that's... I'm telling you, you've made a friend of our enemy. Just can it, all right? Your inverse psychiatry ain't gonna work. Let's go! Three meters! What? Ugh, man, not cool! Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. This is stale, yo. <laughs> Playing the tough guy 24-7? I'd be worn out, too. I just want to protect the one person who matters. <laughs> I know the feeling. Uh, why am I suddenly so sleepy? Long ago, in the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light, a gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Hearts. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade, so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But in time, the world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves, and the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted Keyblades in the image of the original Keyblade, and waged a great war over Kingdom Hearts. We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With that light, the world was remade as we know it today, 
with countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it, one of darkness and one of light, shattered into twenty pieces, seven of light, thirteen of darkness. And as for the source of all light, the one true Kingdom Hearts, it was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade, a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. <laughs>